What's good people, it is your boy Ty here with all the latest MTV news. Ariana Grande's new album Sweetener was always going to be a personal one and with the release this week she's opened up about new track Get Well Soon which is a tribute to the victims of the Manchester attack. Breaking down in tears as she spoke about the meaning of the track in a new interview with Ebro for Beats 1, Ariana explained that she wanted to pay tribute to those affected by saying it's just about being there for each other and helping each other through scary times and anxiety. The track also includes 40 seconds of silence on the song taking the total length to 5 minutes and 22 seconds. The the terror attack took place following her show at the Manchester Arena. Going into more detail in a tweet she added, it's about my anxiety. I felt like I was floating for three months last year and not in a nice way, like I was outside my body. It was very scary and I couldn't breathe well. So it's about that and lots of voices in my head singing. I hope it comforts people who hear it please. Fans responded in heartfelt messages displaying how Ariana has helped them. I'm so shocked because I go through the same thing. Knowing you go through it too makes me feel less alone and much stronger. I love you. As someone who deals with anxiety, thank you for being brave enough to write about it. A tweet that perfectly summarizes the problem and solution when it comes to anxiety. Being brave enough is one step, just like Ariana has done, to move forward positively. Demi Lovato's close friend and backup dancer Danny Vitale has denied accusations that she supplied the singer with drugs before her apparent overdose. The dancer wants to make it clear that she played no part in Demi's relapse and took to Instagram to post an essay-like response sharing just how much the false rumors circulating online have affected both her mental health and her career. Vitale wrote, I have never touched nor even seen a drug in my entire life. I do not do drugs, nor would I ever encourage or supply them to anyone I love. She then went on to describe the effect it has taken on her personal life by saying people that I thought loved me were nowhere to be found or heard from. Company stopped replying. I wound up not leaving my house nor my bed for three weeks. Ridden with severe depression, fear, anxiety, sadness, anger, disgust, numbness and many more adjectives that I've been feeling that I sadly can't even put into words. This untrue narrative is damaging innocent people's lives, mine included. We are so quick to point the finger with little to zero facts at all. After clearing up the false rumours, she concludes, I work have meanings and consequences. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Be warned, heartwarming teddy bear based story lovers, if you're not ready to feel the feels, turn away now. Usually having things chucked onto a pitch at a football game is a cause for concern, but that's not the case this weekend. After fans were encouraged to bring soft toys to throw for sick young fans. Before the kickoff, the fierce battle between Dutch teams Feyenoord and Excelsior, cuddly toys rained down onto the field below, where children from Rotterdam's Erasmus Sophia Hospital were walking on the pitch. The young Feyenoord fans in attendance for Sunday's game were also treated to a comprehensive victory by their team as they beat their rivals 3-0. This emotional gesture is not the first time this has happened in the Netherlands. Adu Den Haag did similar back in 2016, but regardless of how often it occurs, it's a leaf that football fans all over the world can take out of their book. This is what football is really about. Hello, I'm Tania Taylor and welcome to another edition of MTV News. Does Ariana Grande need glasses? It looks like someone might need to book her in for an eye test after an investigation into why the singer always appears to be squinting into the distance. Buzzfeed were first to point out this theory after noticing Ari having a squint on the audience cam several times during the MTV VMAs this week. It's not the first time this happened either, and on further investigation, fans found out this is a slightly reoccurring thing. Take the time Ariana appeared on the Jimmy Fallon show. Well, every time in fact. But recently she headed down to take on the musical genre challenge, and yet you guessed it, she's caught on camera having trouble seeing who she's meant to be impersonating. Sometimes it's so bad that she even has to run up to the teleprompter. Fans have also started to notice too, with one tweeting, Ariana Grande is always squinting. Get yourself some glasses. Another added, can someone tell Ariana Grande to get her eyes checked to wear contacts please? Because she's squinting at everything always. The pine-sized pop princess is in on the action though, as she's well aware that she needs to head to Specsavers. Last year she released her own emojis, which included one of her squinting, and she's even done a video on Snapchat saying she needed to quit with the squinting. Ari babes, maybe it's time to get those eyes tested. 
Will Smith has been spotted in boots, working, not shopping. The Hollywood actor has traded in the acting for retail as he became a boot sales assistant for the day. Shoppers were stunned to find Will working at the Westfield London branch of Boots, where he was even given his very own name badge. So if you happen to be in Boots on your lunch break, Will just might have sold you your £3 meal deal. The star wasn't working there because he's low on cash and needed a few quid. It turns out that he was in fact there to help promote Sun Jaden's eco-friendly bottled water brand, Just Water. Ah, ever the doting father. Speaking on the brand, Will said, while Jaden was surfing as a young kid, some plastic water bottles floated by him and he soon realized that they were dirtying our oceans and killing the environment. He was immediately motivated to do something to save our planet, our future, and with that wish, Just Water was born. Well done, Jaden. Very efficient work. Did you notice know Harry Styles' cameo in the Netflix movie adaptation of To All The Boys I've Ever Loved Before? Yet yeah, the internet is already fully obsessed with the film that landed on Netflix over the weekend, but it just got even better. To be fair, you were probably a little distracted falling into the dreamy eyes of Peter Kavinsky on your first watch. But keen-eyed fans have now noticed a blink and you'll miss it appearance from the former One Direction singer. Unfortunately, Harry didn't quite have a chance to get his acting chops out for this cameo and instead appeared in the form of his album cover, which was cleverly put in shot in a scene in Lara Jean's bedroom. So yes, guys, Harry wasn't technically there, but a picture of his face still counts, right? Of course it does. I don't exactly know how, but the fan managed to find the back of Hazard's debut album placed across the furniture in the room. I mean, it's not hard to miss a face so cute, right? Hey guys, it's Georgie, and this is MTV News. Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson, Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas, Hayley Baldwin and Justin Bieber, every second person on your timeline, why is everyone getting married. Sorry, no answers to that, but we do have a wedding roundup. Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson have set a date for their wedding, vaguely. In an interview with Good Morning America, Ariana said, it's not soon soon, it's going to be like next year. But I don't know, getting married only a year after you met still feels quite soon soon. When asked how she knew Pete was the one, she said, it was just like a feeling, you know? Before admitting, that's so cheesy. People are always like, when you know, you know. And you're like, oh yeah, whatever, okay. She's right. When you know, you know is the stupidest saying. Of course you know when you know. That's like saying you drink when you drink. Yeah, no sh Anyway, another couple that knew when they knew is Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas, and now Priyanka's mum. In an interview with DNA India, Madhu Chopra was very gushy about her future son-in-law, saying, Nick is calm and mature. He's a wonderful person and everyone in the family just loves him. He's so polite and respectful towards elders. She adds, what more can a mother want? Ooh, ooh. I know, a night off, her kids to respond to the family WhatsApp. Equal pay, but that might take a while. So yeah, in the meantime, Nick Jonas will do. That's all from the world of celebrity weddings, but if you're watching this on Facebook, just keep scrolling for daily updates on your second cousin twice removed's recent engagement. Announced by a close-up of a blinged hand holding a glass of bubbly on a hill in the caption, when you know, you know. <sighs> Big congratulations to Dua Lipa's mum for giving birth to her a whole 23 years ago. That's right, Dua Lipa celebrated her birthday with a day of eating and drinking and popping bottles in Ibiza. Or hashtag Dua Bifa, as she's called it. The pop star started with a birthday brunch surrounded by lots of people, then had a pool party surrounded by lots of people, then had another party surrounded by lots of people dressed in white. And she got proof that hangovers get much worse with age. In an Instagram after the pre-party, she said, 23 has me feeling fragile already. Thank you to everyone who has made my year is so special. My fans, my family and my friends. I'm so lucky to have the best people around me. I love you and thank you for the lovely messages. I'll reply soon. I just have to go lay in the sun while my brain melts from my hangover in preparation for tonight again. Happy birthday, Dua. Here's a quick birthday gift from MTV. Wash a couple of paracetamol down with some OJ and you'll be fine, mate. That's all from me. I'm just off to go and block everyone on my social medias who's getting married in the next year.